I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I hope that you're learning along with me and our congregation that when we develop a rhythm of time with Jesus, sooner or later we're going to bump into the fact that we have some prayers that we're firing up that are not coming down like we want. The answer is not arriving on time. The answer isn't what we thought we were asking for. And what's going on when that takes place? Yesterday we talked about the fact that our prayers could just be wrong. It's the wrong request. We're asking for our football team to win. We're asking for something that we can acquire. One more thing that we want. And when you have an overactive wanter, maybe the reason you're not getting the answer from your prayers is because your request is just wrong. So we said while you are wanting, because our wanter tends to kind of give us a feel for what the world says about our identity instead of what God says about our identity, possibly instead of asking for, for wanting more things, we should ask for more wisdom with what we already have. The second one is when our timing is off. When our timing is off. This happens often among believers from all shapes and sizes, from all around the world. We ask, we don't receive. But it's not that God's, um, it's not that God is denying us, but he's delaying us. It's, and God's delays are not his denials. So a couple examples of this would be Martha and Mary and um, Luke chapter 11, where Lazarus is sick and the sisters send word to Jesus, right? They're praying, they're talking to Jesus. Uh, your friend Lazarus is sick. They, they felt like that, that request would, would get through to him. He would understand, he would respond. Jesus uh, is 60 miles away in an area called Perea, 60 miles from Bethany where they lived, and he doesn't return, and he doesn't heal Lazarus. And Jesus sometimes healed from afar, but not this time. And the sisters, when, when Jesus finally shows up, they are angry. Why? Because he didn't answer their prayer. Another example of this is in Romans chapter 1, verse 10 through 13, where the Apostle Paul says, In my prayers, for you, I pray for you all the time, and I pray that I may come and be with you. I long to come, and I've planned to do it many times, but have been prevented from doing so. Okay, so he prayed that he could go, and many times he prayed, and many times he was prevented. Now, we know that Paul finally did get to Rome, and we know that with Mary and Martha, Lazarus was raised from the dead. I mean, they got uh, a very different answer to their prayers, but it was phenomenal. It wasn't that God wasn't going to answer their prayers. It's that he wasn't going to answer them in the timing that they desired. Sometimes whenever God's not seems to not answer our prayer, it's not that our request is wrong. It's that our timing's wrong. Maybe in this season of your life, what you're asking for isn't meant for this season in your life. So I encourage you to simply keep persisting. If you can discern that it's not a wrong request, it's not something that is just an acquisition of more wants, um, but something that, that is meaningful to the char your character or the character of someone else that God's developing, is to simply persevere. Lord Jesus, we thank you and love you, Lord, for being a God that hears our prayers. Father, you hear our prayers. And we have sometimes sensed that whatever it is that we're asking for is just not happening. Lord, possibly it's not that our request is wrong. Maybe it's just that our timing's off. And so, Lord God, I continue to request. We continue to lift up our request to you with perseverance, knowing that you will direct us, you will guide us, you will answer us in one way or another. And we trust you, Lord, that if this is not the time for whatever it is that we think that we need, we pray that you give us patience while we wait, or that our character would be developed as we endure hardship, endure uh, a challenge, persevere with a request, that, Lord, you do something in us that is maturated, it's matured, because we have chosen to not give up. We love you, Lord. Give us a day, this day, that we can trust and rely and be under your influence. 
even when we wait. I'll see you tomorrow.